way that Abdul Muttalib wants it. He wants to continue to represent himself. He was in federal court this morning about 10.30 on the second floor. Security was very tight. There's about three rows of media sitting in there and watching. He was very quiet, very calm, but very firm with the judge when he said yes, he wanted to continue to represent himself. A camera tower, U.S. Marshals, a bomb-sniffing dog, tight security in place for the federal court appearance of accused Christmas Day bomber Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalib. The 24-year-old Nigerian charged with attempting to blow up Flight 253 with explosives in his underwear was led into the courtroom for his pretrial conference in handcuffs. Judge Nancy Edmonds asked if Abdul Muttalib still wanted to act as his own attorney instead of letting his appointed standby counsel, Anthony Chambers, take over. Speaking quietly, Abdul Muttalib said, quote, I do not feel it's necessary. I like the arrangement, end quote. But it came out in court that Abdul Muttalib wasn't giving Chambers access to the government evidence against him to help prepare for trial. Abdul Muttalib again told the judge he didn't think it was necessary for Chambers to see it. The judge disagreed and ruled that even though Abdul Muttalib didn't want him to see the discovery, that he had to have access to it to answer any questions Abdul Muttalib may have. It is important as it is in any other case so that we can review the case to determine what what should happen how things should transpire. But he feels he's totally able to represent himself in this case. That's what he indicated today. Chambers also told us that Abdul Muttalib has the support of his family. When I asked him if Abdul Muttalib has been in contact with prosecutors about a possible plea deal, he said he couldn't comment on that. But the 24-year-old Nigerian will be back here in federal court in January. Reporting live downtown today, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News.